Hey guys, Rico Airsoft here. So as you may know, I have tested the Auger Barrel Set and I'm not really happy with the Auger Barrel, I mean the Auger Chamber. So I have installed the Auger Barrel and the Hop Up into the FCC Chamber Unit. And also I said I'm going to test the Systema Barrel. So here is the Systema Stop Barrel. It's a 10.5 inch with the Outer Bay Hop Up Chamber. And I thought I would show you guys how to assemble the PDW Chamber in this video. So let's open the package up. Okay, so upon opening the package, I uh, will go explain some of the stuff. So this one is goes on the uh, barrel. <coughs> so let's put this aside first. And here, this one is the end plate seal. It's for your air nozzle. So these two piece should assemble like this. And this will go to the back of the, I'm oh, sorry. Is the back. So here it goes to the back of the inside the chamber. So this for when your air also comes in, and this is the BB coming here. So this is a back seal, and the front seal is this ring here. So th this rubber ring goes in the barrel when you push it in. So it creates a airtight seal with these two pieces actually, and not the hop up rubber like the AG. And as for the hop up unit. This is your hop up unit. And usually there's a piece of rubber at the bottom. So in this case, this right piece here. And in the FCC, it is a little spring. And in the Olga, it's also some kind of rubber. So this rubber keeps the hop up push to the maximum settings. So when you're adjusting the hop up, you're pushing the bottom. So, to make it less hop, so when you're adjusting the hop up, you're actually pushing this up, so you so the less hop and more hop, and so that's why when you are setting the PDW SI, you should always set your hop to max hop, so just to release the tension of the rubber here. And so, let's talk about the hop up unit first. As you can see, the barrel is cut in a square shape so when the hop up unit is applied it will apply straight down so unlike a AGL should be where you have the lever you have the needle knob pushing down the buggings so that's that will create some kind of variation into the angle of which it pushes down and it might and might not affect the hop but in APW settings you see the hop up unit goes straight down in a perfect way, so it will apply the hop in the same angle as it pushes down. And the second thing is the sealing. So as I mentioned, the whole unit is sealed by, so you get this what we made at the front, and you get this inside the chamber at the back, so you're creating a seal by these two pieces. So unlike a standard AG or GBB buggings, where the bugging front grips on the Goof ring on the barrel and that creates a seal. But as you're applying the hop, it pushes down the bugging, so it might affect the seal by a little bit. So here, the sealing and the hop unit is two separate pieces, so that is why I think the PDW hop unit is more superior. But, anyways, let's go back to the chamber itself. So you, just, you see this little hole here in stock system or in the auger chamber. This is where my head screw goes in and the head screw pushes the hop up unit up and down to adjust more or less hop and in a rotary style it is done by there's a groove here goes by lighter to deeper so as it rotates it let me get my tracer so as this rotates it lower and sorry oh, the angle so as the water ring, water ring rotates, it pushes and lowers the this little plastic. I mean, this little metal pin here. So this metal pin goes in this hose, and then as you're rotating, it lowers and pushes up the hub up unit to adjust the hub. So let's assemble this. So you first adjust. So you first put the end plate seal at the back so the metal part frizz up 
so the wrapper is on the other side so once you get the end seal in place you put on the rotor wheel and you need to match the part where you have the groove to match the whole area to this pin here and you see how this is kind of loose so you need to get this piece of rubber to hold it in place you can see there's another groove here for your rubber ring so you put this in and you put the rubber in so it helps if you have a treasure to kind of have you go over some of the part okay, this falls off so let me just get it back in okay so here you have your water wheel installed in place and it's held by friction by the rubber so and I look for the pin so as you can see make sure you have the group area align with the pin so if you're turning over here then your pin is not going to go down so make sure you have the is within the group area of the ring so right now you're installing the this pin here so you get your treasure and you try to place your treasure in that hole okay so as I'm turning you can see I'm you can see it's pushing the pin up and that's lowering the pin down so this is how you adjust the hop okay so here's this here's that here and next you want to put this piece inside the I mean over the barrel first set this aside and and then your seal rubber and then your hop and remember this little plastic thing so we get, got everything in and make sure you line up make sure you line up the this spot against this hole also it should be the other way around So this should be the other row. This should be here. Sorry. So double check again. Everything is in place. And make sure you set to the max hop. So the pin is at the lowest settings. And you insert. I just noticed the video got cut out after 10 minutes so I'm turning my new camera on 4k settings on my new cell phone so apparently there's a 10 limit time limit so um, what I was doing is I put everything lined up and I insert this little black block over right here so I'll put a picture to let you guys know what I'm talking about so after you line up everything you push the block in here so just to this locks everything in place Okay, and now I have assembled the chamber unit and let's check the hop up. So here's your max hop. And then going less hop, you can see the hop going up and applying mass hop again. So there's no indicator here. So what I would do is, so right now I'm at the max hop and I would So we're inserting the barrel 
at the side you have one of the dust covers this is what you see so in here let's put a I'll mark it as double If you can see, I'm sure I get in focus. So I'll mark two black spots here. So this is how I know this this size is the maximum. And going in here, this is a this hop. So here I'll mark at one. So when I look at it, I have some sort of reference. So again, here is a max hop, and going over. With the one spot is a this hop. So this is the assembly of the hop up chamber and the barrel for the PDW. And I will take it out to arrange to test between this one and the auger in the next video.